Hey everyone, today we're doing some RoboQuest, and I am going to be a little rusty because the last time I played this was around their last major balance patch where they had some great changes to some weapons, brought some up to the, the highlight reel that weren't there before, Thumper looking at you, but yeah, it's been a little bit, I was just in the mood for the game so we booted it back up and I hope you all enjoy. So let's do that. We said to start our run off with Ranger because I feel like Ranger is actually the easiest class and one of the best classes to get back into the game with. Woo! Got sniper. <laughs> the fire rate is killing me already now. Let me crit you. Already off to a, an interesting start. Ooh, uh, fellas, that's a windmill rifle, and uh, you, you know what we do with windmill rifles around here? We take them. Uh, true shot is really nice. Supreme crit is also nice. Um. I think I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take some it's hard to find a gun that I don't like, but window rifle is always a solid choice, no matter who you're playing. Uh, comic cannon. I do like cherries. Let's grab cherries. What do we have here? Ladybug's always nice. Uh, let's let's grab ladybug. Sure. Let's go Oasis again, but this time let's actually grab the item and not skip, like, 20% of the room for an A rank. <laughs> Since we're playing Ranger, we want to focus on critical hits. Finding both Cherries and Ladybug in the first checkpoint was a great way to start this run, since it gives us a lot of auto crit right off the bat. Shoot at the, de Shoot at the decoy! I put it too high up for them. They can't arch their necks that far. Ouch. I should have not gotten that close. That's one of the reasons I think Ranger's actually really great for newer players and for just coming back to the game, because they are very easy to play because of the decoy. The decoy holds so much of the aggro from the enemies in the room with you that you can kind of just do whatever you want once they start focusing it. Alrighty. How's that aim? A bit rusty. Definitely a bit rusty. Also, did the ending that actually has the title card? Ram to treasure cucumber is S tier. Let's take that. What are you talking about when you mean that? Uh, are you talking about the secret ending? Because we did that on stream too, I believe, right? And strawberries? We like strawberries a lot. Okay, nice, nice. Doing good. Auto crit chance, yeah, Hawkeye's pretty banging, but so is Dexterity. Dexterity's pretty good too. I think I'm gonna take Hawkeye though. Hmm. Tough call. Strawberries is a phenomenal pick for crit builds because it's basically a permanent 20% increased damage on easy to hit enemy weak spots. Not to mention Cucumber is essentially a permanent 15% damage buff as well as long as we don't have scratch damage. Our early game was looking pretty insane. Spawn so early. Perish. We decided to go Oasis because I believe it to be the easiest of the three starter locations before fields. You can also snag a free fantastic item along the way. Normally, in my non elemental runs, however, I would go to Ruins for the extra skill point and Ooh. guaranteed purple Dual weapon from the sewer six. chest. That could have been fun. I'm excited for the Arsenal update uh, for this game. Not, not for Destiny. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited for Into the Light in a few hours, but 
This game also has an uh, arsenal update uh, on the way in spring, and that is exciting. See what these legendary items are. The unmoored world ending. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm talking about too. Then that's pretty good. I'm gonna actually take that in case we die. Hopefully we don't, but you know, you never know. Has been like two months since we played this, so very good chance we can lose a run pretty easily. is actually so much better since the last update. I actually really like the thumper. Used to be probably like one of my least favorite weapons in the game. Got a massive blow up in the last update though. Super fun weapon now. Ferocity, yes. have over here cryo windmill saves yeah it would be nice if we could find a cryo windmill i would love that uh we definitely just take power cell here i could have taken the atomic radish to get it out of the loot pool but i think i think going into the fields we're gonna want some power cells What happened? I got stuck. Okay. This away. God, we have spent a long time here. That's the thing about Oasis is it's just a big circle. <laughs> so I feel like I spend so much time here. I'm always scared for my rank afterwards. Uh, let's take the power cell. What do we got here? Piece of cake is S. Ooh, coffee mug too. I have to choose one or the other, and I think it's gonna be coffee mug, unfortunately. Uh, well, I like coffee mug, but piece of cake, it, it's sad to pass up piece of cake like that. But we also do not have a cryo weapon as of now, so it would be a little inopportune for me to take that. The reason I keep leaning into cryo so often, and the reason why it's also my favorite of the three elements, is because it's the crit element. If we get lucky and manage to get cryo on our weapon and find the cryo yo, then our crit build will be much stronger. But it's also nice to include other cryo items in the mix too, if that is our desired build path.
<laughs> they had a April Fool's joke about how a lot of people were complaining about the stun thing is a little too mainstream because you have to put two, uh, three directional inputs in to break out of it. They were like, we wanted to make it a little bit more interesting. So we replaced it with a Kahoot question. Kunai? Guys, is this a Kunai run? I haven't played in two months, so if I still pop off with the Kunai, surely it's a testament to how good the weapon is, and not just a byproduct of my aim. I think yes, I think yes. And we have Yo-Yo? Fellas? Cry Yo-Yo can't even be purchased? I might cry now? Oh no. All right, whatever, let me in. All right, Diggy Mole, let's do this. I mean, it's still chunks. I love it. Thing's still chunks. Can't ever put my kunai down. I love it. I love it. Kunai S tier. Kunai still S tier, boys. Um, getting an enemy. Sharpened wits, I guess. Yeah. Yoink. Yoink. Any update on the grenade? The kaboom grenade? Uh, I mean, I still think it's functionally the same. Except now, I think it can roll with... I'm not even gonna speak. It's been so long since I've played them. I'm, I'm out of the loop. Ooh, yes. We absolutely want to mark targets. Uh, we can take monocle. Sure, yeah. Let's take monocle. And... Unfortunately, we weren't able to grab Cryo-Yo. Because Cryo-Yo was hot. Um... And I would have been able, I, I probably would have re-rolled, what's it called? I would have re-rolled Cryo onto this, but, you know, it is what it is. See if we can get lucky with some of the drops later on. God, I just love the Kudai so much. On enemies that I can crit anyways. Can get you, flamethrower guys. Get him out of here. Crit goes hard, thank you. Ooh. Another window rifle? Ooh, I don't know guys. I think I'll stick with the Kunai. I think I'll stick with the best weapon in the game, thank you very much. Kunai is actually my favorite weapon in the game, I'm not joking. It's my favorite because of its crazy high critical multiplier. Pair that with its decent fire rate, fast reload, and sleek reload animation, and it makes playing this game a heavenly experience. Unfortunately, we do only have one blue perk on this, so like we can't put an element and keep fork on, because I do like fork for this.
But we'll see. We'll see how the cards unfold. All right, here. Uh, increase fire rate. Yes, absolutely. We can increase fire rate. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Flying enemies could be great. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, marking enemy burns them. We could grab that because we do have bowl on right now. Yeah, let's do that. Dual stingers is pretty nice though too. I mean, I think we take blood. I think we take blood water. Yeah. All right, let's zoom. I'm not gonna go doom gardens. Uh, I am way too rusty for that. Stings. Uh, that stings. Fire hurts. Oh boy. Fire hurts. Okay. We didn't get hit. We didn't get hit. We're fine. A fire retardant pot is what I am. This run was feeling pretty great up to this point, but Energy Labs was up next, and I always consider that place to be the early game check. If you have an easy time with Energy Labs, you can probably clean up the rest of your run pretty nicely, but it's designed to test your build and your own compatibility with it. Hey, yeah, Anarch, been watching YouTube, and decided to come out check out your Twitch. How's it going? It's going great, man. Thanks for asking. Appreciate it, Nonan. Uh, Shadow Strike, yes, please. I didn't even look at the other options. Shadow Strike popped up, and that was an insta select. I mean, Shadow Strike is kind of like an easy button. Look at this. You just get to attack while invisible? Come on now. Quite strong. If I do say so myself. If I have a fool's joke in this game, I would have added destructible armor to every weak spot. I don't even know what that would look like. Let's see, bow tie. Yes, please. Oh, we take bow tie. Okay, guys. Wonka bar gamble. Wonka bar gamble. Coming in hot. Here we go. Well, uh, anyways. All right, guys, Energy Labs is here. First time going to Energy Labs in like two months. This may be the run ender. It's been a long time since I've been here. And this is usually considered to be the, uh, the skill check room. But nine times out of 10, no, probably like seven times out of 10. If you can get past Energy Labs, you can finish your run strong. bottle not really my cup of tea let's take the power cell what no way what was that i'm so confused i have no idea what just happened to me there but i just let one of the rover bots get away and i'm quite sad about that we might not be hitting 15 this run because uh that's all right 
That's okay. Who needs 15 anyways when you've got a kunai in your hands? Hopefully we can uh, keep... I gotta level this kunai up though. It is, uh, it's falling off a tiny bit as I one-tap everything in the room. <laughs> no, these rooms are really the death sentences, so like we gotta, we really gotta get our stuff together in these rooms. A little ninja box. Pretty scary. There we go, got him out of there, got him out of there. And that's the last one down. A few small bots to clean up. There we go. Get boosted. What do we have here? I really, I'm, I'm kind of shooting my foot by committing to this kunai. I mean, there's nothing wrong with committing to the kunai. Ooh, ice cube. I don't have enough for that. I only have four power cells, which is a shame because we have credit card right here. Ooh, it's tough. It's tough. Um, we're gonna take the power cell, and I can't take any of these, which is really tragic. Um, the problem with committing to this kunai is that it's not a be the best roll. Not the best roll on the Kunai, unfortunately. And we found it very early game. So it's probably going to be out leveled by some of our other options, especially since we send, spend most of our power cells on items. So we're kind of hoping we can get another one to drop. But I'm just being incredibly stubborn. Because I just don't want to swap off Kunai, because I love this thing. And it's been so long since I've used it, and it's pretty much the weapon that made me fall in love with the request. So. Back when I played it, like, the day before it came out, officially, I played, like, the Early Access for one single day. Like, 12 hours before this game officially launched, I picked up the Early Access. And I was having a good time, but once I picked up Kunai, I just couldn't put it down. And that's when I was like, man, I kind of love this game. So, hands down, my favorite weapon. But, I mean, it should be everybody's favorite weapon, because it's unarguably the best in the game, right, guys? For anyone saying that it's not, um, have you ever heard of something called style over stats? Because if not, you should live a little. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So little ninja bots out of here. That's not good. No bueno. Okay. Been stunned left and right. I'm trying to, anyways. About to lose the run. <laughs> what happened there? That was a little scary. Get some health back real quick. Energy Labs is scary. If we're ever going to lose a run early on, it will be here. We almost, we almost uh, biffed it there. That would have been sad. 
Oh, my weapon is on level now. Okay, that's good. Got the double level up at least? That's true. I shouldn't re-roll. I really shouldn't re-roll. Um, oh, wait. Relentless Hunter is S tier. Yeah, let's grab that. Relentless Hunter is kind of a banger. I haven't used Kunai too much, but might change that when I play next. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Kunai speaks for itself, all right? Kunai is pretty nice. We like Kunai around here. Okay, let's see. I just because it's got the highest crit multiplier in the game. Alright. Kazoo could be pretty nice. Kazoo could be really nice, honestly. Let's grab Kazoo. And then, do I have... Uh, I have... Never mind. Let's get it. <laughs> that was an inopportune time for a hack. Oh god, that could have been really bad. We almost just wiped because of that one hack. Ooh, scary. Give me my health back. What a way to look. Oh, I forgot I had the thing that revives me. Come on, come on. To die here after energy labs would have been brutal. All right, we were granted mercy once this run. The rust should be off. Let us let us repair th this run real quick. We were granted a second a second chance. Especially right after we got out of energy labs? I didn't get through energy labs to lose it here. There, get that shield off of him. He's mine. Let's see here. We have Supreme Critical, Bestial Ferocity, and Shadow Strike. Those are all S tier. Now, Sonar Spike's nice, but we already have full, so we don't need Sonar Spike. I honestly think Favorite Weapon. I'm thinking Favorite Weapon, guys. Let's grab that. That'll be the last of our mainline upgrades. Now, maybe I didn't pick the most meta upgrade path because I am rusty, not familiar with the best upgrade paths are, but you know what? I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling good about this one, so... Let's just, let's just make it work, and let's not screw this up. It just, it just shreds. It just shreds. I'm a big fan of the Kunai. Big old fan of Kunai over here. I just wish I was good enough to make him shine. Not 
done here yet. Crit damage, increase weapon damage. I I feel like I don't know how this works. I don't know how the scaling works. I need to relook that up. But let's take a let's just take weapon damage for now. I guess I don't know if like it's the same benefit as crit damage, but it just gets applied more broadly. Or if there's some kind of weird calculation that would make crit damage do more. Did I hit all the stores up? No, I did not. Okay, better hurry over here then. we have here we have pulse rifle sliding fire spirit nope i don't really care about that don't really care about that unfortunately power cell you know i'll take it i'll take it anyways i know i just said i don't care but we'll still take it and i believe that is everything so let's get out of here we do have an s rank we should be good to go actually i haven't hit this store up either okay I definitely like Fountain Pen. Uh, yeah, we'll take Fountain Pen. We do not have an element under Kanais still, so we'll grab that. And Fancy Button. I mean, that's just that's just good because we like Javelin around here. for Javelin Enjoyers. Let's go. Spare head save. Yeah, I got I got real lucky there. I got really lucky there. Glad I had that. Okay, we got watermelon. We do like watermelon. Let's see what our other upgrade options are. Thank you. Poppy. No, we don't like Poppy. Just kidding. We're not grabbing Poppy. Poppy bad. I'm, I'm so used to playing explosive commando, so Poppy would be S tier, but not here. We'll take watermelon. Here's an upgrade. Thank you. Now let's get the show on the road. What? Who's still over here? Oh, you. You're still over here. I see. Kunai just puts in work. Kunai is just pretty nuts. I mean, especially on uh, Ranger, though. Because they're kind of, you know, the great focus class, and this is the prettiest weapon of them all. I got stuck for a sec. Whew. That could have been bad.
This was a find. It had sharp burn and lucky on it. Fellas, fellas, I'm very happy. Let's go. Oh, a glorious run. Let it continue. Um, we got to do a javelin. Yeah, we can do that. I can just stop running into all the explosives. No! No! I can't hit anything! I'm trash! Okay, here we go. We had cryo yo and ice cube or ice cream. Yeah, ice cube's not bad either. Because what, you pair ice cube up with toaster? Oh no, I'm a bit rusty. On my on my lingo, on my robo lingo. here okay uh thimble really nice uh salt shaker is also really nice and we can grab both so yeah we're gonna grab both of these let's get it okay beetle royale beetle royale let's get it i wanted to do uh uncle jim but it's fine i'm pretty sure we just meld him regardless yeah, so going into the moon here, uh, we are kind of cooking Beetle Royale, and I am feeling phenomenal about the end of this run. There we go, increased fire rate. We like that. We like increased fire rate. Let's do that. Yoink. Moon time, baby. Let's get it. And secret book, not enough power cells, which is an actual tragedy. We do have frog prints though. Increased non-burn damage by 25% against burning enemies. So hmm, that's it's a tough call because frog prints is also just like an increased 15% damage. This is an increase of 25%, and we have kazoo, I believe, right? We have kazoo. Am I wrong about that? Let's see. Uh, we do have kazoo. So we would be applying burn enemies, and then we could try re-rolling burn off of this. Except we have Pierce, Sharp, and Lucky already. So I'm a little scared to re-roll. But, um... You know what? You can't apply status debuffs to Iris Phase 2 until she gets up in the air, but we can be flying. So I think I'm going to take Frog Prince... Um, I think I'll take Frog Prince, and then we'll we'll see we'll see how this all pans out at the end. Let's go. I mean, we're definitely noticing the Frog Prince buff already.
see his shields off. Let's see. Maximum focus points. Javelin attack speed and javelin damage. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go with maximum focus points. That'll benefit our uh, Kunaz some more. That's the main threat. We removed it. Nice. Okay, is it Iris time? It is indeed Iris time. Let's see what we can do with this last vendor. All right, what do we have here? Floppy disk, not really. Nope, don't really care about any of those. Um, we'll upgrade and then I, I think we just keep this. I think we just keep this. Do we have anything that benefits burn damage? Cause we, no, you know what? We're keeping it, we're keeping it. Oh, it's been a while since I fought Iris. We could throw it here. Again, extremely rusty. It's been two months, so. Yeah. Wish me luck. Phase one down. The sheer power of the kunai, man. I'm telling you. Feels good. It's still on top. Let's get this. We're back, baby. <laughs> I love Kunai. Kunai on top. Kunai on top, baby. I'm telling you. Kunai is, Kunai is my, my goat. Kunai is my goat. <laughs> oh, man. No, I mean, I love yeah, it. that was the run, and it felt great to jump back into RoboQuest. Kunai is king, as always. And if you liked the video, I would really appreciate it if you could take the time to like and comment, because it really does help these videos get discovered. If you ever want to hang out live, check out my Twitch in the description below. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace. For the upgrades... Items, gadgets. There you go. Wasn't sub 30, but I think 31 minutes is pretty good for being out of the game for a little bit. It's decent, I think. So, I mean, I'll take it. We did play Ranger, though, and Ranger's pretty easy, in my opinion, just because you get to beat Invis, and that decoy is strong. But yeah, we love crit. We're crit gamers around here, okay? Yeah, no, that was a quick hour skill. That was a very quick hour skill.